Hello everybody, so I'm gonna keep on working with my git repository that I recently created here locally on my machine and I want to sort of connect it with a web service called uh, github. Uh, github is a web service where we can host our uh, git repositories show them off and we can cooperate with others and we can also just use it to have a a backup of our own local git repo because when i now add it i will upload the whole git repository with all its history to the web service and that will be sort of a backup and i can also use that to work on several machines so i can work on this machine here then i do all the changes i commit them and upload them to the git uh, hub um, web service and then I bring my sort of laptop forward and then I can sort of get all those changes down to my laptop from it. So let's see how this can be done. So I'm gonna move myself here and we have the uh, we have the repo here. It only contains a readme file for now and we have no remote configured. So we have no remote location configured for this repo for the time being. So then I'm going to move on here up to uh, the GitHub website. I'm, all, I'm already in the area where we create a new repository. So I have logged in obviously and I have the new repository button up there and that is what, what I connected and now I'm here. So I'm going to label this some kind of repository name. I think I'm going to just label it demo because that was the local name of my sort of directory. Perhaps a bad name but whatever. A demonstration of git of git so so this is going to be a public repository i'm not going to make it private here private would be only for myself to view it so i'm going to go with public so everybody can use, uh, view it so i don't i already have a local repository now so i don't want to create another one here at uh, github so i'm not gonna add anything there so i'm just gonna create it and there we go so github now has sort of it has created a holder for my repository it's still empty so somehow i need to sort of add the first file to get going or in my, in, in my sake, I will sort of push an existing repository from the command line. So that is what I'm going to do. So here are the things we need to do. So let's try to do them. And we can sort of go like that. And we can try that first and see. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go in here and paste it. So we're going to add an origin. And this is the sort of the network path to github.com to the to the git repository that we use that we created. And this is when we do this, we can do it in mainly two different ways. We can work HTTPS, and then you see we get another address. But we're going to use this as H. But that requires that we have configured our uh, git uh, hub uh, account to use ssh case together with this terminal and i have done that <coughs> at you uh, so that is already done um, so you need to do that also okay so i have that up let's see if we got the remote yay look there so now we have a remote connection for my local repository here it's called origin and it points to GitHub and this specific path. And we can have different paths for fetching the code or pushing the code. But this is the same path for now. So we got those two paths. Okay, excellent. So then we're gonna set the name of the, of the main branch. So I'm gonna, let's paste it in there. So the main branch will be main. Let's see 
what we have here git branch okay we got a main branch branches it's perhaps another topic but that is a way to work with the git repository so we have a main branch where everything happens okay good and then we can push our local changes here so let's push all the local changes and pushing is taking the changes we have locally and putting them pushing them up to sort of the remote location which is now uh, uh, github for us so there we go so it's been basically sort of uh, putting together all the objects and compressing them and writing them up through the network and there is the place where we go and they have pushed the main branch and it seems it seems nice status okay everything seems fine so if i go up here and i and i will reload this page hey here we see the repository is now up and live and running that is excellent so i now have a connection here between my local repo and the remote repository at github excellent so i could sort of uh, uh, the link to github now is so if i change my sort of um, uh, readme file here to add this and then i go in here just to show you how we're going to work with this so git status yes we have a changed file so let's commit that commit it let's commit all and add add link to github and then we're going to do git push because git push will push the changes up there we could make a git status before and git status here will will uh, sort of check our sort of um, the branch it will check on github if we sort of are in sync do github have all the latest changes as we have here on um, on our local or vice versa has something changed on github that we need to get down to our local place just to get be updated so here we say that our branch is ahead of origin main and origin main that is uh, github in our in our place then so we are ahead and then we could sort of push it up so let's push it uh yeah it it said it said like that also there use git push to publish publish your local commits so that what that is what we did we have a git status now we are in sync with the remote and let's go to the remote here and i'm going to reload it yes and now we see that the page is updated and we can also see our latest commit here so here we can see the commits we can see the commit id we can actually go into the commit and see what did change okay i added these three lines so we have all the commits here if we want to see them so excellent fine great i think we are done we have connected our local repository to a remote one on the uh, github web service let's just before we uh, quit so if i now uh, let's let's say that i was sort of um, going to my other desktop and so and now i want to uh, my other computer desktop uh, a small laptop or whatever so i'm gonna use show how how can i actually sort of uh, download the complete repository again to another computer or just to another directory so i'm gonna go in here i think i can open up another terminal so git bash let's open it up so i'm gonna go down here and let's add it there i'm gonna make dear temp cd temp okay so this is this is now empty directory so i'm gonna go and head and do a git clone now just to show how it works so i'm gonna git 
clone this link. So that is the complete repository. So now I'm cloning it and it's basically taking it, the whole repository from GitHub, downloading it to a new directory there. We see another demo. So I'm going to go into demo, ls-l, ls-la, and everything is there. And I now have a sort of a completely new copy of that repository on, on this machine, but it could be on another machine also. So it's a good way to work with backup of our sort of project source code and so. So I think that is enough for working with Git towards a web service like GitHub. But do not forget to add your SSH case so you can work flawlessly like I did uh, from your local terminal to GitHub without any sort of hassle. Okay. Thank you for buying. Thank you for now and see you later on. Bye bye.